Hello everyone, my name is Hitesh and I welcome you to TradeBrain's YouTube channel. Now if you are new to this channel, please like, comment and subscribe on our videos and please don't forget to press the bell notification icon to receive notification on your phone as and when we release the videos or new content. Now this is the website of our company and on the left hand side you see the YouTube channel of our company. Now through this video I am going to be talking about one of the most interesting topic and one of my favorite topics while discussing technical analysis. I'm talking about the concept of volume profile or the MKTP that is the market profile. Now what is volume and what is profiling of volume means here is this. Volume is in simple terms would mean what is the total number of shares traded in a particular day and profiling means to profile them under each and every time frame. Now let us understand the concept more in detail. Now before we move ahead I mean we must all be watching a lot of movies. We are a big movie watching country. So now what according to you defines a box office success? When I'm talking about box office success, I'm talking about the amount of money which a movie makes here. Now what are the factors which determines it? The first being obviously the anticipation by viewers and audience. Now I'll take you, I'll take a classy example of the Bahubali movie. Now after we saw the first part, there was always an anticipation for the second part and we all knew in advance before the release of the movie that if the movie is any good it will be a big success and even a bigger success than the first part of the movie and they they marketed the movie in such a nice way and they left us with a very simple question at the end of it that why did Katappa kill Bahubali but we all started devising our own theories and based on that we formed a judgment so which is where we already knew from the anticipation by viewers that the movie is going to be a big success the second factor obviously being the quality of movie. I mean you might have a lot of anticipation but if the quality doesn't live up to it, your movie is going to be a failure. I mean there are a lot of classy examples for it. I'm talking about a lot of movies or big stars in Bollywood or any regional movies. If the quality of movie doesn't match up to the expectation, the movie doesn't end up doing as good as it should be. So now by understanding these two factors, we have to understand that it eventually boils down to the volume. When I say volume, I'm talking about in terms of movies that if the success of movie has to happen, there has to be a number of people or viewers willing to watch the movie and willing to pay the price to watch the movie and that determines the success of movie. So let us understand the concept of volume in trading and how do we use in technical analysis. Now similarly in trading also, the volume is the number of shares traded for a particular company on day to day basis. Now when I say shares traded, what happens is I'll give you, I'll take the example of say Reliance Industries. So what happens here is this Reliance is right now trading at a share price of more than 2000 rupees on current day. Now why has the share price gone up because there has been a lot of buying and selling happening in the market and the buyers have had a higher say than the sellers in the market. That is from the un simple understanding of price action. But there are a lot of other factors like Reliance is expanding, there's a lot of foreign investment coming in Reliance, Reliance is moving to the next level in the telecom spectrum, they are moving into FMCG sector also. All these factors are leading to volume of shares increasing and the volume of trading happening in the Reliance also increasing and which has led to the prices going up. So here the important factor is volume. As and when something moves with a substantial volume, it obviously has a bigger question or bigger support in the market. Why? Because there are a lot of buyers who are willing to again price at prices if the price comes back to that. And on anticipation of that, the buyers start buying at a higher price in the market. And if we don't have any volume in the market, then the share price won't move. Take the example of say ICICI Bank also. If there is no trading happening in the market, if there are zero numbers of shares bought or sold in the market, the price of the share won't move because for the movement to happen there has to be a buy and seller which means the volume has to happen in the market for the share price to move. So that is a simple thing which volume does. Volume makes the price of a share or the price of underlying asset move in the market. That is the importance of volume in the market. And without volume even the strongest technical indicators don't hold much significance. I'll give you a classy example say Venki's chicken. Venki's trades in the market and it is one of the most volatile stocks in the market. The problem with trading Venki's is that it doesn't trade much on high volume. So even if you have a very strong technical factor formation in the market, if the volume doesn't happen around it, the volume might not hold good in the market. What I'm trying to say is this, the share price might still move in the market, but I would have more confidence in the share which is going up based on number of volumes traded rather than the share which does have, which is going up on without any volume or very less volume because there is no volume support for me and that to me is one of the biggest indicator in the market. Now what is volume profiling? Now we have understood the concept of volume. What does volume profile means? 
In simple terms, volume signifies the total number of shares traded for a particular company or index within a specified time frame. Now let us break down the definition in simple parts. It signifies the total number of shares. So the first important factor is the total number of shares which have traded for a particular company or the index within the specified time frame. If I take the example of say Kotak Mahindra Bank, what would volume profile mean says this, if I am taking an hourly chart, so the time frame here is one hour chart, the company here is Kotak Mahindra Bank. So within one hour, the total number of shares bought or sold defines the volume profile for the Kotak Mahindra Bank. So whichever time frame you take, within that time frame, the number of shares traded, bought, that is bought or sold, defines the total number of volume which is traded in the stock exchange and which ultimately means the volume profile for the company. Now, what are the importance of volume profile? Basically, the reliability of move depends on the volume. Now, for the move to be authentic or the move to be trusted, it has to be backed by a number of volumes in the market. If the share price moves up with big volume in the market, you can rest assured that there are a lot of players which who are willing to buy the shares of the company. And if the price of the share has come down, you can be rest assured that there are a lot of number of sellers in the market. And if it has come down with volume, it means that there is more authenticity and genuineness about the move. But if the same move happens with lower volume, you can never be sure about the quality of move because it could be just a false break or a false move in the market. Now, even the reliability of a technical pattern depends on the volume. Now, for any technical factor to hold good in the market, I'm talking about any candlestick pattern, or I'm talking about single candlestick pattern, multi candlestick pattern, I'm talking about the technical factors like the MACD, Bollinger Band, RSI, all those factors are depend on volume. If there's a big volume happens with the technical factors, technical factors have a bigger chance of giving a more reliable and successful, successful trade in the market. And if the same factors are giving indication based on very less volume, you can never be sure about the quality of indication and you can never be sure about the quality of move in the market. Now, how is volume calculated? Now, this is very important and this is very basic concept about volume. We have to understand how do you calculate volume. Now, volume simply signifies the total number of shares bought or sold within a specified time frame. Let us understand that with the help of an example. Now, this is a table which shows you the different time frames, different price of the underlying asset and the number of buy and sell volume. Now, if you look at 9.20 AM, which is marked by me in, in the cursor, the total, the price of the share is 1200 and the total number buy volume is 1400 and for a volume to happen, there has to be a seller in the market. For every transaction to happen, of maybe buying or selling, there has to be a counterparty willing to do the opposite transaction. So for a buy volume of 1400, there has to be a sell volume of 1400, then the total volume is 1400 and not 2800. A buy and sell volume combined makes one volume. One buy, one sell doesn't make it two volume, it makes only one volume. So the cumulative volume at 9.20 a.m. is 1400. And if you go in different time frames, say 10, 15, 11 a.m., 12 p.m., the number of volume is increasing and which adds up to the cumulative value. So the second time frame, the volume was 1300, 1450, 1600, and it all added up to the cumulative volume. And at the end of the chart, you see the total volume for the day. Now let us take the example of uh, on Nifty index. Now these are the most active shares that is you get to this data from nsindia.com you see the you can bifurcate the number of shares based on volume and these are the most active shares in the market and their last traded price and the percentage change in the price over the previous day and the total number of quantity traded. Now at 11.42 am the highest quantity in terms of value was traded by Vajaj Finance and you see the move happened based on certain number of volumes. Now this is the most important factor or this is the most like important uh, row here. Now it gives you total number of volumes which happened for that particular number of shares at land 42 AM in the market. And if we move ahead by say another 40 minutes and see what happens to the same table, you see that the number of shares traded which has increased now. Now earlier in case of Bajaj Finance, the total number of shares which traded was 63 lakhs only. But right now it's traded almost 97 lakh shares which means the moves in share price of Rajaj Finance is being supported by volumes. So you can be more sure about the quality of move which has happened in the market. And if you were to combine both the table at 11.42 a.m., the table on the left hand side and at 12.22 p.m., there's a table on the right hand side. Now you see you match from say company to company Bajaj Finance, the earlier the quantity traded was 62 lakhs and increased to 97 lakhs. For BPCL or for Reliance, the traded quantity was close to 2.886 crores and it moved to 3.05 crores for BPCL. So each and every share trades a certain number of quantity traded and if the move happens or move is backed by that quantity of volume in the market, you can be sure about the quality of move because the volume is backing the move in the market. 
Now, before moving ahead, uh, TradeWinds Academy has launched its new course on financial market. If you are willing to learn the secrets of financial market, you should subscribe to our course and you will get a full detail about what is financial market and what is the technical analysis like the candlestick pattern, different kind of candlestick pattern, different kind of technical factors and various strategies and we have also given live demo of how to apply those technical factors in the market. This is one of the most important course if you are someone who is looking to learn or understand the concept of technical analysis. I would urge you to at least go and have a look at the preview of the course and take a make a call based on that. And if you are willing to learn other concepts in the market, we have courses on how to pick a winning stock, investing, then we have investing in mutual funds, introduction to financial statement and option trading course also we have on our website. You can have a go, you can go to our website and have a look at the courses and understand what are the contents. These are all contents which are designed by professionals who have traded for almost 8 to 10 years in the market and they have very good understanding. They have developed all the strategy based on their practical experiences. So I would urge you all to go to our website and have a look at the courses which are provided by us. Now moving on. Now what is the correlation between volume and price? Now this probably is the most important part of this video. So I would request you to pay a little more attention to it. Now if the direction of the price goes up with the volume also increasing, you can be sure about the bullishness or strength in the market because the move in the market has been backed by volume in the market. So that gives you double conviction about the move. But if the same price increase happens with no volume or less volume or decrease in the volume that is lesser than the average volume, you have to be very cautious about the move and you have to be careful while taking a trade based on those kind of moves. And similarly, if the price decreases with the increase in volume, there is a sign of bearishness or weakness in the share price. And similarly, if the move happens with less volume in the market, you have to be again careful about the movement in the market because the prices although have fallen, but there is no volume to back it, which means the prices can correct back in no time. And supposedly if the price is rangy or sideways in the market and if there is an increased volume in the market, you have to be understanding that this is the period of consolidation. The market is brewing for a new move and the move as and when happens in a certain direction, it will be substantial and the range will become either support or resistance for the market. And supposedly again if the market is rangy with low volume, I mean you can say the market is indecisive and the market is not sure about the price action today and this kind of low volume days don't make much sense to the price action of the market. Now who are the participants in the market? Now when I say participants, I'm talking about who are the volume contributors to the market. There are basically two parties involved into it. The first being a retail, retail trader. Now retail trader is someone like you and me who trade on like own, on our own personal capital and we trade in the market on day to day basis. So the volume contributed by us will be much less compared to what is contributed by our second participant that is the institutional investors. They are the FIAs and DIAs. These are the guys who contribute or who make a massive move in the market, who buy on large volumes and they are the players They have a higher say in the center direction of the market. So these are the players who contribute bigger to the market than the retail traders and the move which happens on big volume, you can be rest assured that there has been a lot of institutional buying or selling which has happened in the market. Now what is the correlation between candlestick and other 10 technical indicators? Now this is the point which is very important for any trader who is willing to learn the concept of volume in the market. Now any technical indicators to give a right indication in the market has to be backed by volume. And even the basic concept like the moving average, even the candlestick to form there has to be backed by volume in the market. So which is why for before understanding any technical indicator or any technical factor in the market, we have to completely understand the concept of volume. If you have a clarity on the concept of volume, the other factors become easier to understand, easier to learn, easier to master. So if we master the art of understanding volume in the market, that goes a long way in explaining the, in, or understanding the market for any trader. Now to conclude in this video, now volume are the most important indicator in the understanding the trend of the market. See, this is what I've been talking about through this video. If we have volume for any particular underlying asset or commodity, it goes a long way in deciding a trend for the market. If a move is backed by volume, the move has more substantiality and the move is likely to continue in future because there's a volume happened with the move. Now, a volume provides a very strong impetus or it gives you a very strong basis on our technical views on the market. Now the technical views are formed with time and the time spent there is backed by volume. So volume again plays an important factor and our technical views are given better shape with the help of volume in the market. Now if the market is trading on low volume, we can say the retail traders are participating in the move 
and if the market is trading on high volume we can see both retail traders and institu institutional players are participating in the mu and i'm of the view the second view is be more convincing and comes out with more conviction in the market so this is the whole concept of volume the volume can be up or low on certain days in the market but the day on which the volume is more than the average volume over a period of time that day has a better price action and it forms a basis on judgment on the moves to come in the market i thank you for your patient hearing i'll again see you in few videos of technical analysis which i have, which will be publishing very soon thank you so much